In this video, we are going to be learning how to put patches on our direct to film design. So stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Tamilola. If this is your first time of coming across my video. So today's video is a continuity video of the last one. In the last video, I talked about direct to film prints. It's a very detailed video. I explain how you can get this design. How you can print it on your clothes on your t-shirt or your tote bag on anything you want to print it on so this uh, design become more unique when you put patches on it when especially when you make a design like um, a kaftan a shift dress and you put um, some patches maybe ankara patches lace patches organza patches like in this video i'm going to be putting organza pa patches you can actually use any fabric of choice it becomes more unique than if you just leave the prints like this you can see this ankara is almost similar to the ankara of the design the material on the design so here i have my organza and i cut them out in three different sizes okay so i'm going to go ahead to my sewing machine now and i'm going to sew them round i'm going to sew the three round i'll leave small space to turn it inside out okay so let's just quickly talk about some of these designs some of these patches uh, patches comes uh, in different design different methods depending on your level of creativity or what you have in mind and also you also need to consider your artwork i mean your print okay so that you determine what you want to attach to it some people usually put rows some people put both um is it like a bowl bow some people put gele some people put necklace the people put earrings you know depending on the type of print that you have on your on your clothes you understand so here i'm just forming like a gathers i just want to attach like a garment or a dress to the image okay because it has a, a tie already so just to put something to cover the neck of the image then it will just look as if the image is wearing a dress so i'm just forming a garden so there is no specific way you can do this you can do it in different ways okay someone has a question that um, what if you don't know how to sew i want to venture into this kind of business okay it's very simple it's very simple we have a lot of people that know how to sew out there you just give them what you want buy the fabric let them sew for you then you can go ahead and make your own design you understand so because you don't know how to sew you don't know how to do this and some of sometimes you don't even most of you don't even have the higher i mean the sewing machine so you definitely need somebody that know how to do this to do it for you you know some people actually include line selling this kind of um clothes okay i've priced one of this type of clothes before and they were telling me to pay fifteen thousand era the last price was 12k so it's actually a good business and this is what we have i'm done stitching it and this is how i'm going to be attaching it to the clothes i mean to the design so that it's going to have like a small garment so i'm going to go ahead and stitch it down do the same thing to the second one and to the third one then we are going to have it this way so i'm just going to go ahead and stitch it top stitch it and we're going to have it so still talking about the business there are a lot of ways you can make business from this i want this clothes before uh, out after making it and the result or the the reaction of people was wow like everybody loved the dress because the color matching with the design with the type of patches i added you know you have to choose those things rightly you know so that it's going to match and everything is going to pop out you know i went to the market and everybody were like oh the market were like ah, auntie i love your dress oh, auntie i love your dress you know that's the kind of compliment you want to hear especially when it's your business especially when you are trying to advertise to people indirectly by wearing your product you get it so it's actually a very very good business for somebody that wants to venture into this 
cloth line okay and also i'm also going to make a video where you can where you can put it on tote bag i'm going to put adding it to tote bag using different fabric you know this is crepe fa fabric let's see how it will also look on crepe i mean on chinos trust me it's still going to pop out so i'm going to upload that video soon yes you can also put it on your tote bag on your t-shirt basically on any fabric of choice you understand that is even why i love it more than sublimation because sublimation has some specific specific um fabric that you can put it on you can really put it on maybe all these crepe polyesters and when it comes to sublimation too you also there's some colors that will not go for sublimation you understand so but this type of print can actually go for anything and someone was asking about the durability i have tried to wash this before and trust me it's durable it is durable but i cannot say that it is as durable as screen printing no none of this print is as durable as screen printing that's the truth so but um, this dt heavy is also durable is more durable than vinyl yes it is more durable than vinyl because it sink well into the into the fabric and it became so but maybe continuous wash for a very long time it might but the one that i've washed there is no cracking nothing like that and it's still looking firm on the clothes so another person asks can can it be high on after after making it of course you can high on it but i will say that it's, it has to be on low it it has to be on low it don't go and make your high on to be extra hot and you now place it on it even if your high on you know if your high on is extra hot so it can also burn your clothes you understand so this is what we have right there i also went ahead to put like a patches to cover the rough edges and you can see this cloth looks so beautiful i was feeling myself inside the clothes <laughs> thank you for watching i'll see you in my next one bye